um, welcome to my first makeup tutorial in my new makeup setup in our new house. Uh, bear with me as I kind of figure out what works best in terms of utilizing the camera and showing you guys my makeup routine, for example, like here I'm gonna dim it a little bit more, and brighten it up a little bit, I think maybe here is sort of the happy medium, right? You can really see my face. Uh, anyway, today I'm going to be doing a um, my sort of bronzed and beautiful makeup look. It's a really great look for summer, um, you know, as we're getting a little bit more natural or unnatural color. If you want to see how I bronze my skin all over my body and how I keep up that bronze glow without makeup as well, make sure you check out my um, self-tanner blog post. But today I thought I would show you this look that I love wearing. Um, it can be every day for a little bit more um, played up daytime look or obviously for nighttime. So I will be linking all of the products below, um, but I'll show you them now too. So I'm gonna start because it's summer and because we wanna mattify during the summer when it's super muggy out, um, I am going to be using this matte primer. This is from um, First Aid Beauty, this Hello Fab. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this and I'm just applying sort of a dime-sized amount on my skin, anywhere I get oily, T-zone primarily. It smells delicious, it smells like watermelon or melon. Reminds me of those body sprays, like, count on, take me away. <laughs> so I have no makeup on yet, obviously. Okay, so I recently bought um, this makeup that I'm really into. It's Gucci Westman. She's a make an amazing makeup artist. It's her line. It's called Westman Atelier, and it's completely chemical-free and totally natural. So if you're a natural beauty lover, um, you're gonna love this line, I think. So here is the foundation, it's super luxe. I found it at Barney's, so this is what it looks like. My shade is, this is the Vital Skin Foundation Chick Stick Atelier Number no. Three. So you can kind of see it's sort of this bisque color. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am going to just apply that here. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of let this, I'm gonna take a little foundation brush and I'm just gonna kind of put it in, notice I didn't put it anywhere near my eyes because I'm just gonna let this sort of soak in before I apply a little bit more. And in the meantime, and I love it because it's super creamy. Um, I really like a stick at times because it really, um, it allows you to be super customizable in terms of the coverage. Okay, so now my little trusty don't worry, my makeup's not gonna stay like that. <laughs> these guys. So I've been using these under eye pads. I had them in an Eva's Obsessions post. I love how they collect the makeup that falls while I'm doing my eye makeup, but they also create a really pretty line to my eye makeup. It's a little weird when you're wearing them. You can't really see that well <laughs> out of your peripheral vision, so it's a little strange. But okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and um, brush up my eyebrows. So this is an eyebrow pencil I'm gonna be using in a little bit. It's the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. This is one I've used for a really long time. I love it. Okay, then the palette that I'm gonna be using today for my eyes is the Tartlet Flirt palette. I found this when I was, oh, and sorry, please excuse my chip manicure. <laughs> I found this palette, let me show you the colors when I was actually looking for travel sized makeup palettes, but I love it because it has some really beautiful colors that are all at once neutral, but also special. So you can kind of play them up. Okay, so first I'm gonna go ahead and take this color Gaze. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it all over the lid.
So, my bronze eye has begun. See? Okay. Now I'm gonna take more specific little angled brush. Um, so let's find one. Let's find my perfect one. I'll go ahead and use this Fenty Beauty one. Okay, so using a brush kind of this shape. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the darker, the slightly darker color, which is called Playful, right here. And then I'm gonna apply it here in the crease of the eye into the outer corner kind of of this because this will create that line where it won't look it'll look really really precise and beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and get that on there do the other side i love these bronze tones because they really do look good on nearly everyone um they're super universally flattering tell that it's creating a lot of depth in the eye okay now I want a little specialness by the way at any point you can use this fluffy brush you use for the whole eye and just kind of blend key to beautiful eye makeup really is blending a lot okay so now I'm gonna take another brush and you see there are these really pretty kind of shimmery colors so I'm gonna use this one that's a bit bronzier called Touch, this one. I'm gonna take that and put it right here in the middle of the eye to add that dimension. going to take, where is it, my little Fenty. So this is a beautiful um, highlighter, it's called Kilowatt by Fenty Beauty. There's two colors, Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. <laughs> you can see the colors right here, they're really, really beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and take, what is that, Mo Honey, and I'm going to put it with a brush. Where are you? Brush in the inner parts of my eyes here to highlight make the inner eyes really pop. So makeup to me is all about adding dimension. That's why people contour. It's just really playing with light and shadow, if you're talking about, and color, obviously. But to create that really beautiful face, you wanna be playing with like, where are my darker parts? Where are my lighter parts? How am I balancing those? Okay, now I'm gonna take this MAC highlighter, which is, I've talked about this before, I love it so much. It's the Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this to my arch. Just to add a little pop. Okay, now I can go in and do my eyebrows, fill them in. So here we go. Little stroke. You just want to follow the shape. 
peep of the eyebrow. I like a very, very defined brow. Kind of impossible not to make a crazy face when you're doing your makeup. Like my whole face freezes, I don't know why. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and take these off. Whoosh. So see all of the makeup that it caught that would have been underneath my eyes? Now you see there's that beautiful line. So it's gonna look less extreme once my actual makeup is on. All right, so let's see how this Gucci Westland foundation did. I love how it's settling into my skin. So I'm just gonna go and kind of touch up areas that might need a little bit more. I tend to get hyperpigmentation kind of around, you know, wherever the sun hits. So like forehead, top of the nose, um, cheekbones, around here. All right, so super creamy, it blends in really well. That's why I love, love, love this foundation so far. I like trying new foundations, new to the market stuff at times, because, you know, that's what it's all about, right? Discovery. All right, so here we go, I'm blending it. I love how this foundation is really super blendable. So it's really creamy. It creates that really pretty natural skin finish so you don't look like you're really wearing too much makeup. And now I'm gonna go ahead and, so she, so Gucci Westman has another, this is her contour stick in Face Trace Contour Stick in Biscuit. So this is what it looks like. This is the color, it's just slightly darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour. And I love this stick because it's so easy. Just kind of put it. So look, it's not even blended in. And if you kind of blur your eyes, can't you see like how amazing that cheekbone is that contour creates? This is why people are always like, contour is so hard. It's an extra step. I'm like, if you're really gonna do anything, you might as well just contour your face because it creates such a beautiful look to have your face just more structured. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little um, beauty blender and um, so using this other side, cause I'm gonna use this side for con the concealer. Um, obviously you don't wanna use the same side for dark and light. Let me use this other side. Just go ahead and blend it in. Right, you see that amazing contour? It's not amazing, guys. Okay, so this is another new thing that I'm loving just for summer because it's so easy to get those like scaly lips. This is another Fenty Beauty duo. Um, it's her Pro Kisser Lip Scrub and then this Luscious Lip Balm. I'm obsessed with both of these. So this is what they look like. This is the scrub first. You just kind of put on like a lip balm. Kind of scrubs everything off. And then I'm gonna take a Q-tip and just kind of remove the grit and the excess makeup that it lifted and all of that. Okay, then you go in and you hydrate. So this is the pro, the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. Oh, I love this stuff. Okay. 
that's gonna really nourish. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and do my concealer. So where, here it is. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in 170. I love this concealer, it's awesome. So here we go, I'm just gonna go in. Areas that need a little lift of light. So this is the other part of contour, is then you go in and you light up, you lighten up the areas that need to be lightened up. So now I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Retouch Setting Powder in Butter, and I'm just going to use my little brush to just really lightly tap some under my eyes. I just want to set it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put um, bronzer on now, but I just want to set that so that it's really really stays and you know, keeps my eye area light and bright. Okay, now we're gonna go in. This Indus Sun Bronzer by Fenty is amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that with a little bronzer brush. And I'm just gonna bronze the areas that would naturally get sun, really help that contour stay really natural looking. You can tell this bronzer is not too dark for me, which is really important to me when using bronzer. You definitely want to look like it's natural, not like it's made for somebody else's skin tone. Okay. So there we go. Now, I'm gonna use this little Fenty Beauty one that I used um, on the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm gonna use Afternoon Snack, which is this one. <laughs> and I'm gonna use that with a little highlighter brush. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my cheekbones. My really super pretty highlighter. So you can tell it's, I mean, her, the Fenty highlighters are absolutely incredible. They're so pigmented and like, if you want it extra a lot, you can just put it directly on your finger and tap it on. And there's that really iridescent, I like to have a more blended look, but if you really want almost that wet look, you can totally do it with her products. Look at that gleam. To do a little tiny bit on my nose. How bananas is that? It's so pretty. Wild. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in and do my lower lashes. So this is another <laughs> everything's Fenty. Well, she does bronzing bronzing the best. So this is another Fenty product called Metallic Eye and Lip Crayon in Sunfrost. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line here with this. Okay, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Make sure that you're really holding them. I like to hold them for about 10 seconds. Leash aside. They really, really stay. Okay, I'm gonna put my mascara on. Where are you, mascara? Where are you? 
come to me, mascara. You over here? Where do you go? Oh, there it is. tipping a little bit. Okay, so I like to run the wand over the tips of my lashes first. I've shown you guys this trick before, but I really think it helps in picking up all the color on the entire lash. I'm gonna hit them on the bottom a little bit too. I'm help you guys see as well as possible, but let me know how I'm doing. Okay, so, and let me just show you, right, if I dim this light a little bit, you can see how it would look in different light tones, but super pretty, really natural looking, right? Okay, I'm gonna leave it a little dim for now. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do my lips now and then after my lips I'm gonna put on my lashes so you don't obviously have to wear false lashes <laughs> with your makeup look but I'm doing that today because I have an event later um, that I'm going to so I'm gonna put them on now it's totally fine to leave it like this that's also really pretty okay so here is um, these are two Kylie lip products so this is just a small version of it but this is Candy K her lip um, liquid lipstick and this is her lip gloss called Snatched. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. So I like to use her lip glosses. I really love the Kylie colors but they're a little bit drying to me so I like to always use them with a the lip gloss or lip balm over. And I love this color. It's like so bronzy. It's like a like a it's like a bronzed nude in a way. Oh, overuse it. Pretty bronze makeup look. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more of the bronzing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my little highlighter brush and I'm gonna mix the two together. I think I wanna play up the bronze just a little bit more. It's such a gorgeous color. Pretty. Now you can stop like this or 
sorry, you tilted a little bit. <laughs> or I'm gonna show you how I do my lashes. Okay, so here's my lash glue duo. Basically, everyone uses this. I'm just gonna put some on the top of one of my little palettes here, just to hold the glue. And I take the back of my tweezers. These are my lash strips. Um, I'll link them below. And just go ahead and put the like this. Hold it. See, put the glue along the edge. Okay. Wipe the excess off, and then you really want to make sure that they're super tacky. So you just want to let it dry a little bit. I like to hold them my tweezers like this. Right. When it's kind of tacky enough, then you're gonna just, I like to use the tweezers and then you just wanna put it close to the lash line as possible. God, it's so hard to show you guys how to do this. Oh. It's really not that hard to do, it's just hard to do on camera. <laughs> I'm trying to use this phone in my camera, it's so hard. I just want to show you guys. All right, so there it is. This is gonna dry. So it won't look white, but you can kind of tell um, it's a lot easier if you're right up next to a mirror so you can really see where you're placing it. I'm not right now because I'm doing this makeup tutorial, but I promise it's really, really super easy to get the hang of these lashes. It just takes a few times. So just make sure if you're using them like to go out or an event or whatever that you give yourself enough time if you're not super familiar with how to do it because you can just take your time, don't stress, try different st ways of putting them on. I promise you it's worth it once you get the hang of it. It really is. Because like, look, you can see the difference between like this eye and this eye. It's just like so much more amazing. <laughs> worth it. Hashtag worth it. Okay, so. So there, you can tell like how much easier it can be. I have to practice putting it on on my phone. So pretty, right? Okay, so that is that. And now the last little step, I just take like a little liquid liner pen and I just draw so really lightly in here to connect to the strip line so that it looks, you know, not strange. more of a continuous look. Mm -hmm. All right, there you have it. My bronzed and glowing, bronzed and beautiful makeup tutorial. <laughs> Hope you guys loved it. Um, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm gonna be putting some 
little videos up there um, a couple times a week that won't necessarily be on the blog, um, but you'll definitely get them if you're subscribed to my channel. So please do and um, hope you love this makeup look as much as I do. Bye.